Hello, this is Oliver Schmitz. I'm a musician, producer, and sound engineer here at Playground Studios. Well, I was at a friend's house that was back in the early 90s, I believe, 1991. And uh, he had one of those old Atari ST computers, and he had a small keyboard attached to it. And I asked him, well, so what is that? He said, it's a sampler. Uh, what is a sampler? He said, you just sample sounds and turn them into your own instruments. And he started making music with it, and I was just amazed. So I went to a sound engineering school for a couple of years and um, had my, deg my degree in sound engineering, and, uh, which I never went to pick up my diploma, by the way. But anyway, I did that for a couple of years, and after that I started to work for the film industry. I worked for a couple of studios that used to dub movies into Spanish, and um, we worked for uh, Sony Pictures, Universal... We did documentaries for National Geographic. Uh, we did a bunch of TV shows, cartoons. We did everything, even for MTV, I believe. Well, I did that for a few years, and um, I got introduced to the world of Pro Tools recording, which was, uh, which was amazing. It was a very, very fast tool for recording. Playground Studios. So I met Micah Sherman, a.k.a. Micah the Violinist, in Ibiza one night. And um, he played violin with electronic music. And uh, I never saw anything like that before. I was completely amazed by it. So we got together and started making music. And uh, we decided to build our own studio here in the middle of the city in Barcelona. And Playground Studios was born. And... Um, so we started to make music here for a while, and uh, then we decided that we have enough space to record instruments and record proper bands. Uh, so we started doing that. Uh, we hired Marco, our uh, specialized sound engineer in uh, rock bands and pop music, which is an amazing sound engineering. And we're like a big happy family here, working every day, recording music. Well, I started making music back in 1994. I begged my mother to buy me one of those Commodore Amiga 500 computers, which had a sampler attached to it. And I started using a software called the Pro Tracker, which was pretty weird now that I, I remember it. It was a pretty weird um, method of MIDI programming. And uh, you would never dare to use that today, of course. But that's how I learned. And um, after using that, I moved to PC. And I worked with Cubase, which was a totally different way of, uh, of working with MIDI notes and uh, audio recording and editing. But it was much, much faster. After that, I moved to Apple computers and I started to work with Logic. And I've worked with Logic ever since. I mean, uh, I can't work with anything else. I mean, I work with Pro Tools here, but I use it for recording. I wouldn't dare uh, compose uh, electronic music with the MIDI keyboards on Pro Tools. I know people that do it, and they're pretty fast at it. But I really need a tool like uh, Logic to do this. I tried other software, but... I'm too in love with the way you can manage everything and, and, and logic. To me, it's a very professional tool and it's, it's very fast. Analog versus digital. I mean, um, to be really honest, you can't really tell the difference. Nowadays, it's very difficult to tell the difference. I mean, I've worked with both. I've worked with analog gear, with analog compressors, and analog uh, effects, reverbs, delays. I mean, I've worked with everything. And 
I must say that uh, it's really fast working in digital nowadays because of the algorithms and uh, the advances on plugging plugin software. You can't really tell the difference. I mean, we've run tests here at Playground, recording in analog and recording in digital, and uh, try to compare them. And it's 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 very difficult, especially nowadays that we work with uh, pretty complex uh, audio plugins. I mean, there's some amazing stuff out there. There's uh, great stuff like for example from waves i mean uh, who doesn't use wave plugins you know and uh for example um we were working here with the access virus ti uh, synthesizer which is an amazing piece of gear and uh you can con you can attach that by analog or by usb and we we actually right now we got it by usb and it has a really, really amazing sound, and 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 um, to me, it's very important that you can actually manipulate the soft, uh, this this hardware using software. So it's one of those uh, hardware synthesizers that you can just uh, use it as a plugin on your DAW. But it sounds great as a digital um plug-in as well as a analog uh, synthesizer i mean you can't really tell the difference so that's a virus this one we always use most of the songs it's a great piece of equipment actually it's you know you can really use this in any style of music you want you can do techno, house, trance, progressive. You can do anything with it. It's great. You know, you got there are three oscillators there. The effects modulation. A whole bunch of filters. I mean, this thing is endless. You can do anything you want with it. And most importantly, you just can control it uh, via a plugin on, on your DAW. So it's pretty much very comfortable to work with. The Norley 2X Virtual Analog. So, yeah, this is a totally different beast as the XS Virus Ti. This one has that classic Norley hard edge, rough sound that I like to call it, combined with the old analog sound. It's great. I mean, it, it, they kept it pretty simple. You know, you got your frequency modulation, uh, two oscillators, and uh, yeah, pretty much it's 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 simpler than the Virus Ti. But this one's a, a, a great piece of machinery. Also, probably um, we don't use it that much as we would like it to, but. It's always here, and you know, if you need something, you can always come and 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 go through this enormous bank of sounds that it contains inside. I mean, it's it's it's, it's great. Prophet Eight. Now this one, Dave Smith synthesizers. This one's amazing. I mean, it sounds. It has that classic vintage Prophet sound. And uh, I like the way it looks. It looks pretty vintage, but it's great. It has also, like the Nordlead, it has, it has this hard edge, rough sound, very analog from back in the day, if you remember the, the Prophet 5. This is probably like an extension of that. Pretty simple also, a couple oscillators, frequency modulation, pretty much the same as the Nordlead. Um, yeah. We work, we record with Pro Tools and uh, uh, we use the HD cards. Very important for me, I love work, if I'm recording vocals, I love working with the Avalon. I mean, this thing is amazing. I've been working with this for ages and I could not work with anything else. I mean, the Avalon for, as a preamp for microphone, it's, it's amazing. Dyna Audios. Air 20s, I mean, what can I say that hasn't been said already from these speakers? 
high definition, pure, pristine sound. I mean, I can't, I couldn't work with any, anything else. I've been working with Dyna, Dyna Audio for for so many years now, and as soon as we got these, I mean, really, honestly, you can hear everything, every single detail on your mix. It's got a 10-inch uh, woofer. It's got bass management with selectable frequency crossover points, which is great. Uh, acoustic placement compensation. I mean, it's 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 an amazing piece of equipment. Advice: <sighs> Try to stay original. Don't try to copy anybody. I mean, it's all right to have influences from other musicians. It's, it's all right to get those influences and apply it to your own music. That's okay. But never copy or try to imitate anybody. Try, it to, be, try to be as original as you can. Let it come out from the heart. You know... Um, normally people say, you know, don't listen to anybody, just, uh, do whatever you feel it's right. I don't actually agree with that. I would say, listen to other people. I've always listened to other people that gave me advice and, um, uh, it's all right to be yourself, but always listen, try to create something new Try to make something that nobody's ever done before, which is very difficult. But nowadays, we got so much music out there. I mean, there's so many bands that sound just exactly the same. Try to come up with a new flavor, with something original, something new. And uh, especially let it come out from the heart. Peace. <laughs>